Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. So, I wanted to put together an arrangement of a dozen and a half roses. I actually watched a YouTube video um, this morning on how to put together an arrangement of roses and I thought we would try that. So I'm going to start out with my foliage. Um, I've got a little bit of leather leaf. You know I, I like to use leather and then I have some la salal or lemon leaf. So I'm going to start out with the, with the foliage in my hands. I'm just going to use the foliage and I'm going to go all the way around in my hand with my foliage. Instead of arranging this directly in the vase like you often see me do, we're just gonna go all the way around in my hand. So I just made a just a bundle of greenery in my hand. Next I'm gonna come in, so that's the leather leaf. Next we're gonna come in with some salal or lemon leaf. And I'm gonna take that foliage. And I'm gonna go all the way around. In my hand with that salal or lemon leaf. That one's got a broken piece, so I'm just pulling that right off. And I'm just nestling some of it down into the center of that that leather. Oops. Okay. Okay. So there is my foliage just in my hand. I'm going to take a pair of snips. I have my garbage can right here beside me and I'm going to cut those stems at an angle with my snips. Now just make sure that you have all the foliage off of those stems and drop that greenery right down into that base. Now you're gonna add more greenery, so don't worry about it not having enough greenery. We're gonna add more greenery um, in just a moment, but that should be enough to hold our flowers in place. So there is our foliage in our vase. This is just a glass vase filled with fresh water and I added a little bit of fresh flower food to it. Next, we're gonna start with our roses. So we have one and a half dozen red heart roses. So how he started was he did it in layers, layers of um, roses. So the first, the base layer of roses he only did a dozen. So for the base, he did six red roses. So we're gonna start out with six of our roses. I've got my floral knife. Now, he said to cut the stem to one and a half, um, the length of one and a half of your vases. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my rose down and I'm gonna kinda measure it. So this is about the length of one and a half of my vases, okay? I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle. And he said instead of going directly into the water, go at an angle with that rose. So go directly in an angle, just like that, okay? I'm gonna turn my vase. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna measure my rose about one and a half the length of the vase. Come in at an angle, okay? Turn your vase, one and a half the length of your vase. Go in at an angle with that rose. And they look like they're spraddled, but I promise it really does, it really does make a difference. About one and a half, cut it, tuck that rose in. So that's four, and I'm gonna do six on this layer. One and a half. Tuck it right into that, that greenery. And then one more, about one and a half the length. And tuck that right in. Okay. So you can see how they're really pretty spraddled. It looks kind of 
Kind of odd. It's certainly not the way I've ever done it before. So it looks odd. Okay, next we're gonna do six more, but we're going to do two times the length of the vase, okay? So about this length, I would say. Cut that at an angle, and we're gonna do six more at this length, okay? And you're gonna go all the way around. And they're gonna kind of wiggle a little bit. You may have to adjust them to make them work for you. All right, so we've still got them kind of tucked in at an angle. Now the next layer we're going to do is um, we're going to do five roses. So I'm going to take my roses and I'm going to find my tallest. And we're going to use this as our top rose. And we're going to just tear down the next roses. So we're going to put five on this layer. Now this dozen and a half roses is a, it is a premium dozen and a half. So we're going to add some extra flowers, but see how easily and how pretty that looks with them all kind of stair stepped down. Now, of course you can adjust them. Now I'm going to show you how to keep them in place. Next, we're gonna come in and we are going to collar these um, roses with some more Salau. So I'm gonna take my Salau, I'm gonna cut it at an angle, and I am just going to come around the outside of this vase, all the way around with more foliage. Now what this is going to do is it's going to keep these roses in place. It's where you want them. Pull those out and just reposition them not going to hurt them at all. And you can see I'm just going around and adding a little more foliage. And what that's going to do is just guarantee that our roses are going to stay where they need to. And you can just keep adjusting them until you get them to where you want them. All right, so there are our dozen and a half red roses. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add more pretty foliage. And so the foliage that I'm going to use is a little bit of this pretty um, pittosporum. So this is a, um, a solid pit. Now I'm just going to take it and tuck it right in the base. Now you can see here that this pit it actually has two kind of florets. I'm going to take it and pop it in half so I'm able to use it in two separate insertions. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of a feathery um, foliage. So I have some beautiful Ganayuk. And it's so pretty. And it really is, it really, um, it makes this arrangement look so full and expensive. So I'm going to take my snips, and I just kind of snipped it in half, and I'm going to tuck some down towards the base. I'm just stripping any of the foliage that, that is on that stem that might fall below that water line. Okay, so there's our pretty eucalyptus. 
to give us a little bit of height in this arrangement. So I told you that this is what we will call our premium dozen roses. So not only is it our beautiful red roses, we're going to come in with, a, with other blooms. So the blooms I have include Bells of Ireland. And so these Bells of Ireland are going to give us some height in this arrangement. So I'm going to take that, that stem. After our, so I would suggest always arranging your roses first and then coming in with your other flowers. I'm going to take my floral knife and cut that stem at an angle and I am going to tuck that bell right down in the center of my design. Okay, just right in the center. I'm going to take a second bloom, cutting it at an angle and tucking it off to the side of the first. And then my third bloom to the opposite, opposite side. Okay, so there's our Bells of Ireland that give us a little bit of height. Next, we're gonna come in with some yellow stems of daisies. So we have beautiful, actually, let's come in with our white stock. So we have some pretty white stock as another, as another line flower. So I'm gonna strip off some of that foliage. I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle. And I am going to just tuck that stock right into that arrangement. Working all the way around in this arrangement. But you see, these flowers are just adding a little bit of accent to the roses. The roses are the most important in this arrangement. Okay, there's our white stock. Next, we're going to come in with our beautiful yellow daisies. So these yellow daisies are going to give us a, a pop of color in this arrangement. So I tell you what I have found when designing roses, the hardest part is to keep those roses standing up. What will guarantee you keeping those roses standing up is the amount of foliage that you put in the container. That's going to make all the difference in the world. There's our yellow daisies tucked in. To finish this arrangement, we are going to add some pretty Queen Anne's lace and a touch of wax flower. So Queen Anne's lace we're going to use as a filler. Just a really pretty Queen Anne's lace. So I took that and cut it in an angle and I'm going to tuck it kind of down towards the base of the arrangement. You can see they're pretty large blooms. Again, I'm cutting each of those stems at an angle and just tucking those right down low in that arrangement. How pretty that Queen Anne's lace is. Just a really nice, nice accent. Now I know you can see the mess that's going down in that base. I will be sure to clean that out. All right, there's our Queen Anne's lace down toward the bottom. But you see the statement still is very much the roses in the arrangement. The last little finishing touch, we're going to add just a touch of this beautiful white wax flower. So I'm just going to take that wax, I'm going to pop it with my thumb, spread it out a little bit, 
and just nestle it right down into the center of that arrangement. It's just giving us an added touch of filler. Now when you're finished designing your arrangement, be sure to gather your flowers like this, hold them in your hand tightly, and remove any of this foliage or anything that might fall below that water line. So go ahead and clean up those stems, being sure you remove anything that falls below the water line. And what you can do here is you can take a clean vase of water. Go dump this vase. Gather those stems back up and add them back to that vase. Now, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to clean out this vase about every other day. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to guarantee that your flowers are going to last longer, okay? So every other day, take your flowers, pull them out of that vase, and change that water and cut those stems. And it's going to make your flowers last a little longer. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any questions about how I arrange these roses or how we arrange anything here at our shop, please don't hesitate to ask. Now, as a finishing touch on this arrangement, I will add ribbon, but it is absolutely not necessary. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please be sure to subscribe down below. We would love for you to come back and watch more videos. We post new videos almost daily here um, at Flowers by the Bunch, so come back. We'll hope to see you soon. Thank you.